On the shoreline of the South San Francisco Bay, at the intersection of industry and environment, a transformation is underway. A transformation to protect Silicon Valley, restore a delicate ecosystem, and build climate resilience. This is a really, really important project. And let's be clear, our world is changing. We have a grave responsibility to take action with urgency. And what you see behind me is an example of that action. The South San Francisco Bay Shoreline Project is a first-of-its-kind effort, strengthening the shoreline threatened by coastal flooding and sea level rise due to climate change. At the same time, it is also the largest coastal wetland restoration project in the western U.S. On this April morning, Valley Water and its project partners gathered to officially mark the start of construction. These kind of projects are truly important. This is the kind of project that the community expects and the community is demanding. Multi-use projects that provide for flood protection, restoration of our environment, as well as recreation so people can come out and really enjoy what's going on. But these provide a true benefit for Silicon Valley to protect not only our economy, but to protect the homes and businesses. Our focus here is part of the Engineer with Nature. Engineer with nature meaning using the things that are naturally here in the area to bring about the change that needs to be able to help ensure that flood risk management is actually taken care of. Crews will move over a million cubic yards of dirt to build a levee, a critical line of defense for thousands of homes and businesses in the historically disadvantaged community of Alviso, in the path of devastating flooding time and again over the years. Well, like myself, I've been through it three times uh, in my lifetime, two as a child and one as an adult, and we lost everything we, we owned. And this area here was eight feet high, and the Vario in Alviso, where I live, in the residential area, was four foot high. So we lost everything we owned. And so once you do that, you never forget it. We want the, the grandkids and everyone else to not be in fear of floods and be able to make a living and live safely. Today, the South Bay shoreline is a new frontier for a pioneering project a nature-based solution transforming industrial salt ponds into a native ecosystem. Nearly 3,000 acres of tidal marsh and habitat will be restored, helping the species that once thrived here return. This part of the bay, this native ecosystem, for thousands of years supported thriving communities of the Ohlone people. Unfortunately, over time, the landscape altered, so this project, instead of separating the people from the bay, it's gonna bring the best parts of the bay directly to the front door of the people. We've got endangered species, migratory birds, fish that really depend on the tidal wetlands. So restoring these wetlands, I mean, it, it contributes to wildlife, it contributes to the water quality in San Francisco Bay, it sequesters carbon, so it's helping with climate change, these wetlands just do so much for people and for wildlife. You know, 50 years ago, when Don Edwards and a group of environmentalists were working to create the wildlife refuge, it was really a single purpose. Let's protect the bay. And 50 years forward, we realized that these projects are multi-purpose. You know, I'm standing here in the middle of Silicon Valley. We protect the buildings that are here, the infrastructure that we've built up. One, two, three. <laughs> this moment, more than 15 years in the making, would not have been possible without partnerships at every level. It's an effort made possible first and foremost by the public, who have repeatedly backed valid measures for flood protection and environmental restoration projects. This project has been in the works since 2005 and it marks a huge collaboration between federal, state, local agencies. So collaboration is key, you know, and, and everyone having the same vision of understanding that climate change is coming. This project is the start of protecting our county from billions of dollars of flood damages. Taking action to battle climate change, protecting the people and wildlife of Santa Clara County. Some of the unique colors that are in those salt ponds will go away and it'll come back to looking like it should, like some wetlands that were there more historically. And uh, you know, there'll be a 15 foot levee ringing the infrastructure and community so that they're safe. When you look at the impact of climate change, investment in infrastructure projects is really what you need. And that's why these kinds of projects are really important.